Mules back in punt formation to begin this game. Good defense there. Good defense is stopped by Eastland. There's a snap and a low line drive kick, but it's going to take a mule shoe bounce. And there it's a, a battle for the ball. Let's see what happened. We may have got that one back, Bob. No, we didn't. We have the ball, but they're saying that Eastland belongs to Eastland. I don't know. The mules think they have the ball. Let's see what happened. And I think it is mule shoes football. That was a line drive kick, not a not a, a real good kick, but it did take a mule shoe bounce. Not a long kick, but it grazed one of the Eastland backs. They just had one back back, actually. And then the mules managed to jump on the loose ball after it touched a Maverick player. So a big break for the mules as we're three and out. We punch the ball and end up with the ball about, what, 30, 20, 30, nearly 50 yards downfield. We're on the 31-yard line. No, about a 40-yard pickup. Okay, Junior Baca still in it running back. And there's a keeper. There's some running room in there for Caleb as he faked a pitch, picked up the first down around the left side, picked up about 12 on the play. He goes from the 32 to about the 18, it looks like. That'll be a 12-yard pickup and a big hole in the middle there as the Mules have their first offensive, good offensive play of the night, first first down of the night. And they have a chance to score first here if they can take this one on in. They're on the about 19-yard line of Eastland. Junior Baca running back. Ryan Johnson, the center. There's a snap. Keeping the ball over the left side. Oh, good one-on-one -on -one tackle there. Nothing for Caleb. We had some running room there, but number 61 got in there, Bob, and did a good job on defense. Stopped Caleb short for maybe a yard gain. No gain. No gain on the play. That's number 61 of the Mavericks. That was Cruz Cervantes made that tackle. So the Mules have not put the ball in the air yet. And they have a second and 10 here down on the Eastland 19-yard line. Junior Baca, the running back, set over to the left side. Big hole over on that left side. Back to pass. Fires the ball, and there's a man out there. It's going to be a first down, I believe. The catch inside the 10 is going to be close. It's according to where they spot the ball. We had one receiver go deep and one cut across the middle, and he was open. Just it looks like he stepped out about a half yard short of the first down. And, Bob, did you get who caught that then? I okay, it's uh, third down and inches to go. Number 21, Ray Martinez in it running back now. Number two out wide to the right side. That's Xavier Reyes. Double slot over on the left side. Third down and inches. Eastland shifting around on defense. They have the middle covered now. There's the option play. There's a pitch, and oh, my goodness gracious, we had maybe a touchdown, and we made a bad pitch, and the ball goes out of bounds, and we lose five yards on the play. <laughs> I don't know whether we would have scored, Bob. We definitely had the first down, and now we have a fourth and five. Bad pitch around that right side, and really there was not a lot of pressure then. I don't know. We just Something just happened then, so it's fourth down and five for the Mules, five and a half actually. I'd say we lost uh, close to five. I know, but it's nearly six. Well, anyway, it's fourth down and call it five then. Back to pass. There's a pass. Man open, and we'll have the first down. It's caught inside the five. Caught on the four, and then uh, number 12, Sanchez took it to the five. So a good pass in and good catch, and we did pick up the first down, and so we overcame that bad pitch a moment before, and the mules keep this drive alive. 7.35 remaining in the opening quarter. No score in this area game. Muleshoe and Eastland. Junior Baca back in at running back now. Number 12, Sanchez in the slot over on the left side. There is a pitch, and Junior loses a yard on that. Good defensive play, but number 54 as he tackled Junior for about a yard loss. Number 54 is Luis Ojeda of the Mavericks. 
So second down, and the mules are moving the ball, but Eastland is making them use every ounce of strength they have to try to get this one in the end zone. Some good defensive plays, and the mules two for two passing. We'll see if they choose to pass here. If they try to run over on the right side, they have three blockers there. Trips on the right side. Eastland doing a lot of shifting around. And there's a keeper right up the middle for the touchdown. Fake to Junior Baca wide and seven yards out. Good faking in there by Caleb Wood, and he went untouched into the end zone, and the Mules up 6 nothing with 6.32 remaining in this, op in this opening quarter. And, Bob, we used nearly six minutes on that drive. Well, actually, we had two drives there because we recovered the fumble on the uh, Mavericks down on about the 32-yard line when we punted the ball after a three and out, which turned into a touchdown. The Mules take advantage of that, and I believe they missed the extra point. Nope, they got it through just barely. It was a low-line drive kick, and it was sailing toward the left side, but just did get through those stanctions. And the Mules lead 7 to nothing, and we'll be back with the Mule Shoe kickoff. Number 12 is Sanchez, and number 60 is Raymond Mendoza. All right, so a one-yard pickup. It's third and 11, and this would be big if the Mules can hold Eastland here, get the ball back. Should get it in relatively good position, even though Eastland has a good kicker. We're in a five-man front. Motion over on the right side. Back to pass. Looking, looking, looking. There's a bomb right there, Bob, and they're down there. Woo, they're down there, and they caught it, and they may score. And we'll tackle them on the 10. They got behind us in. Got behind us on the right side and threw it just as far as they could. And they were about five yards behind us. And we finally ran out the receiver on the 10-yard line or the 9-yard line. So just like that, Eastland gets something going after the Mules had them down for a third down and 11. And they just got behind us in. And good pass by the quarterback. And a good catch out there. So that's uh, – Moylan, the quarterback, and he really put that one on the money. So it's first and goal to go on the nine-yard line for the Mavericks. There's a handoff, and now the quarterback kept it, and he's upended hard on about the six-yard line, picked up three. Faked outside, kept the ball inside. Good tackle in there by the Mules. That looked like number 73 on that tackle for the Mules. B. Johnson. B. Johnson. But a pickup of, let's give them two on that, Bob. It's second down goal to go from about the seven. They were on the nine. Have one wide receiver and one uh, wing back over there now. Well, no wing back, just one right wide receiver. Have two running backs back there with the quarterback. Now they're set up on the far side. Quarterback keeps it outside. He'll go into the end zone. Touchdown. They caved us in and pulled everybody to the middle of the field where they had uh, most of their receivers and quarterback kept the ball f faked into the line and went wide left and no one out there so it's seven to six a score the mules lead by one and just like that was that number six okay okay it may have been if it's number six it must have been a wildcat bob because they snapped to him and they do run the wildcat okay number six I'll have to get his name. Brandon Allen. Okay, so it's seven to six. Here's the kick, and it's up and it's good, and that ties the score with 4:43. And Eastland scores in a hurry. The Mules had the long, almost six-minute drive to score, and then recovered uh, one fumble on the play. 30, uh, Thirty-seven. So, um, big, big play here. The Mule's probably passing. Uh, Caleb straight back, throws the ball over there, and it is intercepted. intercepted and picked off, and they run it all the way back to about the, about the 29, and Baca uh, made the tackle. Might have saved the touchdown. So, the Mule well, probably wouldn't have made a touchdown. Bob, they uh – they had us double covered. Uh, we threw into double coverage, and they just came out with the ball. And like you say, Junior saved a touchdown then, but they still have the, our second turnover and the ball on the 34-yard line of the Mules. And like Ronnie said, like we said earlier, we can't afford penalties and turnovers, and we've, we've had both. So they have good field position on our 34. First and 10. Score tied 7-7, just underway here in the second quarter. 
Name any yeah, they, they number seven, seven runs with it. All my number six, all the way down, and he's down. Oh my goodness, he broke tackles, broke tackles, and ran from the 34 down to the Mule Shoe uh, three. 31. 31 yards. Just uh, that's the first time they've run much on us, but boy, that time they they really did. Now now there's a handoff to number. Oh, just easy. They just blocked everybody then. And number six just eased into the end zone from uh, about uh, three yards out. So the turnover took two plays, and that cost us a touchdown, and the mules are behind. Now they're setting up for a two-point conversion. Thirteen to seven, and we'll see if they're going to go for two. Sometimes they set up in, in this formation, and then they shift, and then kick it, and that's what they're doing now. They do that to see what, what our defense is going to do. So um, that really hurt, that penalty did, and that's the first time they've run on us, but they ran it then with ease. Of course, the interception hurt more than the penalty. Uh, yeah, uh, the interception, I meant to say, and the penalty. So, um, that they kicked that one uh, successfully, and it makes it 14-7 to with 10.55 left in the second quarter, and we'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. So, big, big play here. Looks like the twins to both sides, and one, the quarterback, I believe he's going to be under center this time, and one running back. Now, now put a man in motion. And handed a uh, quarterback's going to pass it and is screen. up screen, and he's going to have the first down, and he may go all the way, all the way down to the 20. Okay, that was number six again, the big, big running back, and he just broke tackles. A little screen play then. And let's see, that's going to be 7, 17, 27, and 37. Uh, it's going to be 36 yards on that screen play, Ronnie, and the first down on the mule 20. They're two for four passing. And uh, this time, now this time, well, he got more than I thought. My goodness, he's hard to get down. Had him uh, for no gain, and he picks up about six yards. This Allen is a tough running back. He got six, that's right. The Mules really don't need to let them score here because you don't want to get two touchdowns behind this team as much trouble as we're having moving the football on offense. But they have it, and we're having trouble stopping them. They have it on the Mule 14, and it's going to be second and four. Three in the backfield, one one receiver to the side. Now hand the ball off again, and – he he just he just oh my goodness we can't get him down Ronnie he's moving the ball like uh, the big uh, tailback from Littlefield we'll have him hit and we're and we're hitting him up there high and he just plowed on for the first down was that, six? Uh, that was number six the uh, Allen and Ronnie he went for he made seven yards in in a first down looked like that we had him. Uh, for maybe a couple of yards, and he just carried us all the way down to the seven-yard line. It's first and goal for the Mavericks. And the, there he goes. That was a, uh, kind of like Ronnie. He just plowed his way down to the one, and good blocking, very good blocking. Then by the offensive line of the Mavericks. All righty, I, we talked about the three-week layoff. I don't think it's hurt them any. Actually, he went to the two then. So it's going to be second and goal from the two. Yeah, 64 yards uh, on that uh, Quarterback is a good runner, and number six, Allen, is a good runner. And they're getting a lot of blockers in front of him. Again, they have three backs in the backfield. Now they shift over to power to the right, and we had him. And then he just uh, carried us on into the end zone. We hit him on the two. But uh, they're really kind of uh, manhandling us right now. So that makes it 20 to 7 with the extra point coming with 414 remaining. Man, they set up over here on the side. Um, they may go for two this time. They haven't uh, shifted yet. 
And now they put a man in motion. And there's a pass, and no good. It's going to be third and a long four from the Eastland 35. Trips over to the left. Now Caleb keeps it. He's going to run with it. Has the first down. And he, he faked the pitch then to Baca. And they're really covering Junior. And he went from the 35, Ronnie, to the uh, about the – no, it was gonna be, it's going to be about the 27. The 35 picked up, picked up about eight. Well, actually, 35 to the 26 be nine. Nine yards and a first down. First and ten from the Maverick, 26. And there's a good run there by Junior Baca all the way down inside the ten. That's the first, That was just a quick hitter for Junior. They've been trying to run him wide and run the option, and that was just a quick dive play. And he went from the 30 – he went from the 26 to the 10, 16 yards for Junior. Now, if the Mules can get this in here before halftime, they're right back in the game. Twins to both sides. First and 10 from the 10-yard line of the Mavericks. So let's see what the Mules come up with here. Now move Junior over to the left. He's the lone running back along with Caleb in the spread. Now give, Caleb kept, kept it, and he's going to get a couple, maybe. They really uh, – they're sure tacklers, too. So let's see what – he picked up two. So it's going to be second and goal from the eight. I'm not sure he could get a first down without uh, um, scoring. Okay. On the eight-yard line, big, big uh, series here for the Mules. Trips over to the left. One receiver to the right. And the Mules are going to have to hurry to get this one in play. It's down to five seconds, four seconds. Now he runs with it, and Caleb's going to be down around the. They're going to be down around about the three, and let's see, see what we like. It's going to be third down, and it's going to be third and three. Huh? Okay, now third down. Third down and goal from the three. Five. Now hand off again. And Caleb is going to get to the one. And it's going to be fourth and one. So big, big play here by the Mules. So let's see what uh, Coach Jay comes up with here, the offensive coordinator. Well, actually, Ronnie, well, they didn't give him near what I thought they gave him. Well, no, it's still one. Well, well, that, yeah, it's a one. We were just, we were just uh, lining up back deep. Well, this is big right here. Fourth and one. And he's in there. Good job there. Uh, Caleb kind of hesitated and dropped back and then went back to the right where he had more blocking. And he scores with 32.7 seconds remaining. And the Mules have cut the margin from uh, 20 to 13. And we'll see. Looks like they're going for one here. And this will be Elizalde kicking. He has a chance to bring the mules within six. There's a snap. The kick looks good. And it is good. Something quick. They have uh, twins to both sides. They have one running back. Quarterback drops straight back. Wants to throw it deep. He's going to throw it deep. And it is caught. We were there, but we just uh, couldn't stop him. And the tackle was made there by number 88. First Compass. and 10 on the mule, 17, with 12.2 seconds remaining. Mules desperately need to stop him here. Now, now give it to big number six. He starts outside and runs over a couple of mules and, and carries us all the way into the end zone. We hit him about the, about the – five or six seven yard line and then he just carried us into the end zone so that was a huge 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 touchdown there for the mavericks now they're lining up in the same formation and they may go for two this time because they need to 
uh, trailing. It, since they didn't make it the other time. Now they are moving back in there, and, and they may kick it. I guess they are. Oh, that was that was huge there. Thirty-eight seconds when they started. Thirty-eight seconds when they when we kicked off to them. There's the kick, and and he missed it. So with four point six seconds remaining, they lead twenty-six to fourteen. We'll have the kickoff. Well, tries here. What we don't need to do is lose some yardage on a player. Pick up a penalty. 9-20 in the third quarter. The Mules down 26-14. They're down on the Eastland about 32-yard line. And Caleb keeps the ball. Hard running. He's going to be close. It'll be fourth and short. Caleb just took the pitch in. That's just a quarterback uh, run. I don't know whether you'd even call it a draw. We just took it and ran straight ahead, and he picked up about four. And it'll be fourth and a long two. So, boy, this is a big play here for both teams, especially for the Mules. Crowd on both sides really into it in this area again. And Caleb has a first down. He faked to Junior. They had Junior covered. Caleb picked up about seven or eight. So, good hard running by Caleb Wood as he's really trying to get the Mules back in the ball game here. Uh, five, yards. five yards picked up. That is the first down. He lacked about two and a half and picked up five on that play. He has 119 yards. 119 yards for Caleb Wood. He's only thrown eight passes tonight, and they have very well covered the pass. Put a lot of pressure on him. There is a pass. It's caught by Barone. That's two catches for Barone here in this Second half, and he picks up good yardage, a little slant across the middle, and that ball thrown well by Caleb Wood, and the catch made by Barone. He was hit hard and hung on to the ball. He picked up nine on the play. So the Mule's trying to get back in this one, and there's a keeper by Caleb Wood. He has a first down. He's down to the five, maybe the four. Another first down, so it's goal to go, first and goal to go for the Mule's. He has a first down. It's first and goal from about to five, it looks like. And Caleb again. This time he is killed back there in the backfield. They had everyone on him then. And I don't know what's happening. They're blocking over there on that side. I guess they're overloading or something. I don't know, but it's a loss, and it'll be second down. We'll probably have to put the ball in the air here. You're going to lose about three. And Caleb scores. He faked in there that time to Junior, and this time right up the middle, and he takes it in. So he lost uh, three yards on that first play and picked up seven back up then. So we'll have to give Caleb Wood a lot of credit. He really he really put out an effort on that drive. And uh, we're in this ball game right now, Bob. It's 26 to 20, the score in favor of Eastland, but uh, we came up with a big fumble, took the ball all the way down and scored, and if we can just get a stop or two in there, uh, you know, we can win this game. There's a the kick, looks good, is good, 26-21, the Mules trail with 7-11 left here in the third quarter. One yard line. Okay, here we go, and it'll be Caleb running again, and he's going to have another first down and more, about 14 or 15 more. It's about 19, I think. Let's see. I think 15. 14. 14 yards in for Caleb Wood, and he just <laughs> he just taking the ball, and and that's really that's what we've had on offense this half is his running up the middle, and and basically that's it. Okay, there's a snap. There goes a handoff to Junior, and he loses yardage again. His shadow is right there with him, and we're not blocking his shadow is about what it amounts to. Somebody needs to put a good lick on that guy that's just following him around. He lost five. He can't cut. He can't do anything. They're, they're just, they have one guy that's just staying with him, and I don't know. We're not getting to him. It looks like we'd be open to pass the ball or something like that, but it, we haven't been. 
Well, second and 15 after the good run to start this series. And there's a pass. Caught. Good catch. And we're going to score, I think. No, 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 no. Got caught from behind. 81. Barone went about uh, three feet in the air to catch that one. Is it? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's number. It's 81. Yeah, Barone. He, he went high into the air, Bob. He went high in the air and caught that, and then it looked like he'd score, but they did catch him from behind. And so it's first and 10 to go. About 20 yards, 25, I think, on the play. There goes Caleb again. If his blockers had got out of the way, he'd made more. He tried to run over some of his own blockers and picked up four or five. So it's second down and goal from the six is what it is. And their defense has been out there quite a while here in this quarter. 20 seconds, they may just let the clock run down and talk to Coach Wood over there before they come back. Third quarter ending, the Mules down 26-21. Now they're going to take a snap here, it looks like, with seven seconds left. And there goes Caleb again. And he is going into the end zone over the right side. Touchdown. He just took the ball, followed his blockers, and went into the end zone from about uh, six yards out, six more yards, another first down for the Mules. And they take the lead 27 to 26, and they'll probably go for two here. We'll see. Yeah, they're lining up to go for two, it looks like. Man, that was, that was a good job of just wait until your blockers got set up instead of up the middle he went around the right side that's kind of like uh, looks like the way the belldozer does it in oklahoma the way he's run on down on the goal line a couple of times and there's a penalty is that on us that may have been they may have been all sides it's on us okay i would say we'll probably throw the ball here now and the clock has run out in the third quarter so when this uh, extra point play is over then uh, we'll go into the fourth quarter. Yeah, they'll go ahead with the play. They, the clock ran out on that touchdown run by Caleb. So uh, that really gives us a little more space to pass uh, to throw the ball in if, if we have time to get the throw off. Junior Baca in at running back. Now the Mule's having some trouble getting everyone set up. They have three receivers on the right side, one on the left. And the pass is incomplete. Tried to slant and pass just a little off the mark. So the Mules lead at the end of three quarters, 27-26. They trail 26-14 to 14 at the half. A good drive going by the Eastland uh, Mavericks. They fumble. The Mules score, and now we have scored again, and we lead 27-26 with one quarter to go. So that'll be second and 10 from the Mule 46. We have 11:01 remaining in the ball game, and the Mules lead by one. So we'll see what they do this time. They have all of them in the backfield. There's number six again, and well, he. We had him about three or four yards short of the first down, and he carried us again. So looks like he's going to pick up about uh, 11. Uh, yeah, about 12 yards. He is so hard to to get down. How many yards does he have, Ronnie? 113 on seven. Uh, or however many 113 yards. So it's first and ten. They have it on the mule 36. Really, this Allen is similar to the running back from Littlefield. Okay. And the quarterback keeps it this time, and he picked up three or four. He faked in to, to the running back and kept it and picked up three. So the mules really need to come up with a stop here. Big uh, area football game between the mules and the Mavericks. Third and seven. Mule thir from the Mule 32, there's a pass out there, and it's complete. That's, that's, that's the first short pass that we've – that uh, actually they've thrown, and it was complete. 
Well, he went from the 32, we'll see where they mark it, to about the 24. Eight. So it'll be eight yards, just a little pass out there in the flat. So they have, they, they have quite a drive going. Thanks to that flat. First, first and 24. The big uh, interference penalty really hurt the mules. And straight up the middle, just kind of a kind of a dive play then. And let's see who carried that. That was, we will get his number. I think it was 44. Yes, 44. And he picked up three. So they're down to the, about the mule 21. And we have 921 left in the game. And the Mule's clinging to a 27 to 26 lead. And they also have a good field goal kicker. And like Ronnie said, they, they look like they have a good field goal kicker, but um, we'll wait and see. Now they have a full house, full house backfield, and there's a pass wide open for a touchdown. I mean, I mean wide open. Number number five, he was out there all by himself. And let's see who that was. That was Matt Majors. That caught that. So, Eastland takes the lead again, 32 to 27, and you know they're going to go for two here. At, at opportunity. This is, uh, you know, Ronnie, this is very big if we could stop them here. So, they have twins over to the left. One receiver to the oh they had a man in motion looked like then but maybe not but he's gonna he's gonna go take it in just no one well, they just here. ran out of time right there and they didn't call it big number six ah goodness Ronnie it was on zero when they snapped it then but and number six ran it down from the seventeen to the what let's see how far he got. About the, looks like about the six, 11. 11 yards. See that on zero yeah. then? Yeah, it doesn't surprise Doesn't me. matter but yeah, that it much. Well, it, it, well, it matters. It matters, but that should have been a five-yard penalty. Cause. So it's first and goal from the mule six. Big number six. Full house backfield. And... Not a whole lot then. As the mule stopped him around the four, he may have made a couple. So also, it's down to 6.02 and the clock moving. They're using all of the 25 seconds every time, just about. Well, he just, they, he just made a yard then, Ronnie. I would look for him to go wide here. Here are the quarterback. We got it. We have to put everybody on line. They could pass it probably. And again, they're going to use up that 25 second clock. Now they come up to the line of scrimmage. 5:30 remaining. And they they went off again. Then Ronnie, it was on zero again. He's into the end zone for the touchdown. So that's twice that the 25-second clock has shown zero when they snapped it. But anyway, he uh, ran in from five yards out, Ronnie. That was a quarterback then, wasn't it? That was. Okay. That makes it 40 to 27, and they're going to kick this one. Very good team, this Eastland's very well balanced defense and offense, pass and run, and it is good. So it's 41 to 27 with 518 remaining. Five eighteen remaining, and the Mules trail by 14. 41 to 27. They led the beginning of the fourth quarter, 27-26, but the Mavericks have come back and scored twice. Trips, on the left. Trips over here on the left. One receiver to the right. One running back. There's a pass to Ross, and he has good running room. And he has. All, he's down to the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, 
touchdown mules as it went to Austin Ross, and he went 80 yards on the pass from Caleb Wood, and I don't see any flags anywhere, Ronnie, so... Showed his speed there. So Ross has – they say he's the fastest player on the team, he and Junior Baca, and he did show some speed there. So the mules are <laughs> – they're hanging in there. Big uh, extra point here also. And Elizalde will be kicking. Holding will be Ross. Long count. And it looks good, and it is good. So that makes it 41 to 34. So the Mules, just like that, scored on one play. And we still have 507 remaining, and we'll be back with a kickoff in just a moment. Okay, now they hand the ball off, and that been number six, and he just ran through the whole, just went, ran through the whole defense into the end zone from 13 yards out. And Ronnie, I don't believe we touched him then. Well, I don't know. He ran over about four yeah, hours. But he's uh, – he uh, – 13 yards. So that makes it 47 to 34. You know, Ronnie, we've just – I know the mules are playing hard, but they just cannot stop them. 47 to 34 with 211 remaining. There's the kick, and it looks like it's right down the middle, so it makes it 48-34. to 34. We'll be back with the kickoff with 2-11 remaining in the game. Okay, Bob, uh, tough loss here for the Mules, but this Eastland team just unstoppable on offense, and they, uh, we did lose three games this year, all to good teams. Shallow Water, a very good team, even though they were defeated in the playoffs today also. And, uh, of course, Littlefield beat us in that big shootout, 51 to 42, and then they were defeated today. And uh, Eastland, or yesterday, and Eastland defeats us 48-34. And uh, they do have a good ball team. They beat the team, Bob, that beat Littlefield six points, about 20 points. So um, we battled and came back, and it looked like they might just really put it on us in the second half, and we would not let that happen. We got – we actually came back and led by one point going into the fourth quarter, and uh, we just left it all on the field, but uh, wasn't quite enough. We end up nine and three, losing out here in this uh, area playoff game. Uh, Eastland now nine and two in the advance on uh, next week. Probably, well, it'll either be Baines or Adelou, and Adelou was trailing in that game. The last we heard. Well, here's some final stats for you, Bob. The end this season out. Eastland uh, passed for 169 yards, and they ran for 244, I believe, what, and 283. So they had a total of 408 yards is what I have for them. They had 22 first downs. They had uh, 55 yards in penalties. And, of course, their big running back, uh, number six, Allen, had uh, 167 yards run, uh, rushing for the Mules. Caleb Wood had another excellent night running the ball, had uh, 169 yards on the ground, and they just pretty well cut off, shut off everyone else and just um, made Caleb do the running. And uh, he, he was tough. He took the punishment and had a good game. But, uh, you know, we just kind of wanted to mention after the uh, first quarter, really. Uh, we did have a couple of long passes, one for an 80-yard touchdown pass. Uh, Caleb passed uh, in the game 10 for 17 for 205 yards, one touchdown but three interceptions. Uh, we did have some turnovers. Uh, we uh, ended up, I have the mules, I think I told you, Eastland, 408. Eastland ended up with 413 yards, and the Mules ended up with 408. So not a whole lot of difference there in the total first offensive down. yardage. Uh, close down, first downs were 20 for the Mules and 22 for Eastland. And uh, penalties very close. So it's a close ball game. Uh, the Mules just uh, couldn't quite handle this in tonight. They played hard. They had a great season. And, um, you know, we got to be proud of the coaches and the uh, players, what they did. And uh, 
and wish Eastland luck as they move on ahead. Well, Ronnie, you summed it up, and I'll add my uh, two cents to that, too. The Mules had a really a good year and uh, just uh, played hard. And like I said, we lost to three very good teams. And the Mules, it's just it's become a habit for the Mules to get in the playoffs. And uh, they did it, of course, again this year. So anyway, that winds it up here as we lose this uh, area game to the Eastland Mavericks, 48-34. to 34.